Welcome to Easy Computer Fixes channel and today I'm going to show you a little something uh, about printers and especially if your printer prints white pages. This is a common problem. A lot of people uh, call me up saying well my printer is broken. It um, prints white pages so I think there's something in Windows that's not right. And the problem with white pages happens only on um, inkjet printers. So if you have an inkjet and have like several cartridges, like this one for example, has several cartridges right here, colored cartridges. What happens with inkjet printers is that if you don't use them for a while, they tend to, uh, the ink tends to dry up. And sometimes it just clogs the uh, print head so that what you print, well, you get this beautiful white page or you'll get a page with something on it that's kind of weird but you can't really read it. It's just like if it's really uh, uh, pale or it's incomplete, you have these lines going through it. That means that um, either your ink cartridges are totally, totally dried up and nothing can be done except changing the print cartridges or maybe it's just that they're dried up or the printhead is dried up a little bit so one of the things that you can try for when you do that is in your computer most printers have in their control panel a feature to clean the print nozzle so you have to go when you want to try that to your computer, of course, as we're going here, and the printer itself. So, once you're in your printer, on your PC computer, what you need to do is find, first of all, the control panel, and go into your printers page. Right click on your printer. This one is an Epson Stylus Photo R220, so I'll right click on it and in there you should have options, printer options and here I've got the utility page of that printer where it says here you can verify the nozzle, you can clean the print head and then if you click on this you'll have the printer do some cleaning. Now if you clean the print head two things you need to know. First of all you need to know that it's going to cost you ink. Cleaning the nozzle or the print head requires a lot of ink but it might be the way to do it because anyways if your printer isn't printing at all it's not really it's you know a bigger problem than wasting ink so click on that cleaning uh, the nozzle cleaning now this is on an Epson every printer has a different way of cleaning if your printer is one of those more advanced printers with a little menu on the printer itself. If you have a little screen on your printer then the head cleaning will go on in that little screen. Don't search for it in the computer. Go on that screen and check for the menu of um, the cleaning, the utility menu where you can clean your print head. So every printer is different on that. Once you found it, there you can clean it. Now, how many times, if it's really a white page that comes out of your printer, you can clean it maybe up to 10, 12 times. And from experience, I can tell you that even really, really bad um, inks that are really dried and print heads that are really clogged, uh, after like 10 or 12 cleanings, usually they come back, a lot of them come back pretty good. So uh, it's worth trying anyways because um, if it doesn't print, it doesn't print. Uh, so some will take two or three cleanings, some will take 10, 12 cleanings and if all fails, well you can of course take out the uh, print cartridges. Um, the print head, if it's really clogged, there's nothing much you can do. You can maybe soak it just a little bit in very, very hot water but it rarely works very well and uh, some heads, some uh, print heads that are really clogged sometimes 
also means that your computer's uh, your printer might be uh, ready for um, the uh, <laughs> uh, to be changed for a new printer, of course. So um, if you're um, trying it out, well, hope that it succeeds for you. And uh, another uh, thing to be careful if you have an inkjet printer, try using always the uh, manufacturer's inks. Uh, a lot of the inks that are generic are bad and actually damage your printer and your print head. Instead of helping you save money, you'll have to buy a new printer. And um, never, never use or go to these refill places. These are crap and they're just going to make your printer go bad. So I uh, hope it helps. Try to find that panel. If you don't have, if you have an old style printer like I do here on my uh, Epson Stylus, then in Windows by right clicking your printer in the control panel, you might have somewhere a printed cleaning. So search for that. If you have a more advanced printer with a little screen on it, check your screen you will have a menu that will help you clean the print nozzle and uh, do some tests. And hopefully things are going to get back to normal. And finally I recommend that if you have an inkjet printer, once every two weeks you should print out a small page with color and black and white text so that you can, um, you know, you make that ink work and you make sure that that nozzle works fine. If you leave it too long without printing, it might dry up. Hope it helps. If you enjoy our videos, please, uh, uh, we hope that you will uh, uh, subscribe to our channel and you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions, let us know. Maybe you have a feature, a problem that you'd like us to talk about, make a video, let us know. We'll try to put that video online and hopefully you will um, enjoy are other videos that can help you, uh, you know, make a better use of your uh, computer and help you with different problems. Thanks for watching and hope you come back to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. Bye bye.